Diwali is probably the favorite festival for kids. It gives a chance to celebrate their time with crackers. Diwali falls on the last day of Aswayuja, which normally comes during the month of November. There are many stories associated with Diwali. It is said that Rama has returned to Ayodhya after killing Ravana on the day of Diwali. People also relate Diwali to the defeat of Bali Chakravarti by the Vishnu avatar called Vamana. But the most popular and much interesting is the episode of Narakasura. Narakasura was born to Varaha, an avatar of Vishnu and Goddess Earth. As he was born with the qualities of a demon, Goddess Earth feared that he might be killed by Vishnu in future. So she pleaded Vishnu not to kill Narakasura at any cost. Vishnu thought for a while and said, Okay, I will grant a boon, except you. No one can kill Narakasura. Goddess Earth was so happy to hear this. She was confident that she would never kill her son. As the days passed by, Narakasura grew powerful. Even the Indra couldn't defeat Narakasura. They all went to Lord Vishnu to protect them from Narakasura. Lord Vishnu assures them that the end is near for Narakasura. Soon, Lord Vishnu took the form of Sri Krishna and Goddess Earth was born as Satyabhama. Meanwhile, Narakasura continued his evil rule. He tormented the rishis and challenged the kings. On one such occasion, he had to face Sri Krishna himself. Sri Krishna knew that the death of Narakasura was in the hands of Goddess Earth, so he did not stop Satyabhama. When she wished to see the battle, the battle between Krishna and Narakasura started. They both fought fiercely. After a while, Narakasura was able to make Sri Krishna unconscious with one of his weapons. Then Satyabhama herself fought with Narakasura. She courageously faced him and aimed her arrows at him. At last, Narakasura has fallen for the arrows of Satyabhama. That day was called Naraka Chaturdasi and people celebrated the occasion with lamps and crackers on the next day which is Diwali. Diwali itself means a row of lamps. Diwali was celebrated not just by Hindus. Jains and Sikhs too observed Diwali for their own reasons. The last Tirthankara of Jains Vardhamana Mahavira has attained Nirvana on this very day. People also worship Goddess Lakshmi on this day. She is believed to visit the house of her devotees on this day. In fact, another name for Diwali is Lakshmi Puja. The Marwaris give a lot of importance to Lakshmi Puja on this day and their new year in fact starts with Diwali. Everyone wakes up early on the day of Diwali, does a head bath, wears new clothes, spend the day with delicious sweets. Pray for Goddess Lakshmi, lights the lamps at the sunset and starts firing the crackers. The dark night of Amavas glows brightly with the lamps lit on Diwali. The fireworks of Diwali is set to decrease the chill of the winter and destroy the insects that flourish at that time. As the night gets darker and the crackers calm down, children go to their beds in a happy mood. That stays until the next Diwali.